like this life shit it, it's hard if you're in a blue pill matrix it's hard if you're stuck in the matrix but once you see life for what it really is and you, well, you can start redirecting your life and start chasing your dreams and purpose and ambition bros it don't really matter what age it is 20 30 40 50 you know what i'm saying as long as you understand the concept now i promise you it might take three years of your life i know you're saying like that's kind of long woo wah woo wah woo listen three years of your life really not that long out the whole grand scheme of life bro just let that sink in like life is long bro if you living to be 70 years old which is that's the norm in america three years of your life bro just fucking lock in you feel me don't be a lazy bum man What is up, YouTube family, man? It's your boy, Dom, man. Welcome back to my channel, bro. So, look, man. Let's catch a vibe real quick. You heard me. Your boy outside changed the scenery. Hey, man. I'm about to run five miles around LSU Lake. And look, man. This video really ain't got no direction. I just want to share a little food for thought. But before I even get into that, bros, look. Check this out. I didn't know it was going to be windy, bro. No cap. I thought it was going to be like a little sunny-ass day, you feel me? But it's kind of windy, so you know what I'm saying? The wind blow, whatever, whatever. Just bear with me. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. I'm not God. I can't control the wind. I can't say, hey stop when you feel me so hey it is what it is so look little food for thought i want to share with y'all that i thought was pretty cool you feel me so look so i would just listen to like i would listen to something on the radio and the dude really shared something really really important he was like we have so much emphasis on like getting the best thing the newest thing the most popping thing in the world you know what i'm saying he was like a guy that was from hollywood right you know i'm from down south i'm from baton rouge louisiana so that's the capital city of louisiana so i mean it's a city you hear me you know what i'm saying so like we do get lambos and shit come through but it's not like hollywood you know like our city only have like well like 1.5 million people you feel me hollywood we got like 10 million i mean like hollywood but la got about like 10 million people so he was explaining how it is in la bros he was explaining how it is in la how it is in california and he was like pretty much bro no matter what you got you got somebody on the next level up you know what i'm saying he kept saying like a dude, let's say you pull up in the bands right you know in baton rouge you know you got a bands you got a major heard me like you you good he was like he started off with a bands he was like you know if you if you pull up in the bands at that same red light somebody gonna pull up in the g-wagon right then he said you know what i'm saying that same before the day over with before that's the before the day over with that same person in g-wagon he gonna see somebody in a lambo a ferrari a bugatti he just kept naming all these fancy fancy luxury cars and that was just making me think like bro no matter what no matter what you do in life perhaps you're gonna always have somebody to have more things you always have somebody that's doing better than you so the focus of life shouldn't be really about materialistic things because at the end of the day if you thr if you thriving for success through materialistic things you will never truly be happy so basically the whole purpose of this video i want to talk about like you really just need to find your true purpose and your true happiness in life bros because at the end of the day bro somebody always going to do better than you somebody always going to have more than you somebody always going to have more money than you like when he was talking how it is in hollywood bros that really was just making me think like and these other cities man like that shit crazy like people really out here like they really have some alphas out there you know what i'm saying he was just like talking about the hollywood cultures like how the hoes are out there like people really travel like the hollywood and shit just to make a new life and they sell a soul when i'm saying sell a soul you know what i'm saying let's say let's use a female for example right she'll really take a trip pack all her bags go straight to la you know what i'm saying go straight to la right you know what i'm saying she got the big actor dream but she willing to sell her soul what i mean by that you know sell her body whatever whatever just for the makes his dream just for the pursuit of happiness just because she think money make her happy you know what i'm saying like life is bigger than that bro like you gotta understand that life is way bigger than that man you gotta figure out what is your purpose you know what i'm saying like if you remove money from the equation would you still do what you do let that sink in man if you remove money from the equation would you still do what you do would you still pursue what you're doing see for example with me man i learned this shit maybe just like two years ago you know what i'm saying so like me i found i ain't gonna say i found all my purposes but i found a couple of purposes in my life you know what i'm saying that really truly makes me happy you know like i really 
don't need obviously i need money to live but money my life doesn't revolve around money so i'm basically trying to, i'm trying to turn my hobbies into my source of income you know like i don't really put too much emphasis and stress on money now i do have a financial plan don't get me wrong because we do live in america some money talks you feel me so you're going to need money but i'm trying to put myself in a position to where i'm financially free and financially stable so i can escape the rat race if that makes sense you know what i'm saying but the focus is not for me to be a billionaire just to flex i don't live for the flex i don't want the flex like the flex not for me like don't get me wrong i'm gonna get a couple of nice things you know what i'm saying but like my whole purpose in life is just to be free my whole purpose in life like you gotta think about it bros we into like this weird ass shackle because like we we into like this little box mentality you know what i'm saying we in this box mentality like you know what i'm saying you want to get this good ass job so you get this bands but you get this bands now you got debt and now since you got debt you got to keep this job you can't focus on your purpose and now you're working 10 to 12 hours out the day now when you get off from work you ain't got nothing but time to just go home, smoke, drink, rinse and repeat, do it all over again, and you have no time for yourself, bro. That's not life, bro, because before you know it, you didn't even live. You didn't even fucking live. Like, me and my partner, we were just on the phone talking about that shit just the other day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I told you, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? It is an industrial-ass city, like a port city, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got downtown businesses, like tall buildings and shit, but, like, it's an industrial city, like... You know, we got ports, we got factories, we got chemical plants, we got all that. So my partner, he worked for a chemical plant, right? He make, uh, what that nigga make? He make rubber. And he would, you know, he worked 12 rotating shifts or whatever. You know, we was just talking about a few people, how they get just got that mentality where they really work 21 days straight, 90 days straight. All they know is work. And then when they get off of work, they just sleep, smoke a blunt, rinse and repeat. And man, that's not living life, you know what I'm saying? We were just really sitting there talking about like, we just shot ball just the other day now i mind you it's more than life than shooting basketball or whatever whatever but i love shooting basketball you know what i'm saying and you know at the age of 25 i know that's young so don't expect for me to time out on some wisdom and no 35 for i ain't got no 40 year old head i'm 25 so that's how i'm feeling right now you know what i'm saying so right now being able to chill with my boys shoot basketball work on my business it's my pursuit of happiness you know what i'm saying even with this youtube stuff talking to y'all bro it's like this is my pursuit of happiness like spreading knowledge being a leader you know what i'm saying like these are things i'm doing outside of work you know what i'm saying and me and my partner we were just really talking about that we were just like people don't really do nothing outside of work and they so consumed on just having money and they're not even financially literate because they, they work all the hours and still have nothing to show for it because you spent all your money, bro. And when I just when I just heard the dude on the radio station, bro, that shit really messed my head up because he was like, bro, in Hollywood in LA, bro, people got money. Like you thank you baller, and then you gonna meet a real baller. You know what I'm saying? Like you got people that own football teams, basketball teams out there in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? You got people that own football team, basketball teams out there in LA, bro. Let that sink in, bro. We talking about little hundred thousand. We flexing. We talking about a couple mills. Man, they got billionaires out there. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm from Louisiana, so we don't really see nothing like that for real. You know what I'm saying? You got 50 bands, bro. You balling out here. You feel me? Like you got 50 bands, bro. Whether you trapping or whatever, you balling out here in Louisiana. Like that's just the fact of the matter, you know. But shit, you have to figure out. What is your purpose in life, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is your purpose? What truly make you happy? Like, me, bro, like, I love this shit right here, you know what I'm saying? You see how I'm just outside? Like, this is shit I love, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of my body, taking care of my mental, taking care of my health. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to set myself up so I could be free, spread knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Just take care of the world, take care of the people, talk to y'all. Like, this is shit I love, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love just being true to myself with no influences, like I'm really glad that I have a different mindset and I wanna share this mindset with y'all. That's why I said I wanna drop this video about food for thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy how the world set up. It really designed for to keep you stuck then to this little matrix, you know what I'm saying? And then you really you really not set up for success if you really chasing the bag in that sense, you know what I'm saying? You need to be chasing the bag in a sense to put yourself in a position for financial freedom. Just let that sink in, man. Let that sink in. Oh. And another thing, bros, so your boy, your boy back doing semen retention. I'm gonna do an update video probably tomorrow. Today, Friday, you know what I'm saying? So tomorrow will be my seventh day of, you know what I'm saying? I ain't getting no cheeks. I know, right? I ain't getting no cheeks. I'm trying to really focus on myself and like put myself in a better position in life. So I ain't getting no ass. I ain't getting no cheeks. 
And I, you know, obviously I'm not doing no fap, you know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be day seven. I'm gonna give y'all a benefit update video starting tomorrow. And every Saturday, I'm gonna document everything. Cause this whole YouTube shit, honestly, is all about self-documentation. I really wanna see what the hell am I thinking about at the age of 25 and going on forward, you know? So I started this shit off at 24. May 2020, my birthday just passed in September, so shit. Basically, like, this video shit just like self-documentation, just to see what I was thinking about at 25, 26, 27. Watching myself grow, watching the whole process unfold in front of everybody's eyes, you know what I'm saying? I'm just sharing all this with y'all. Y'all part of this journey, y'all part of this growth, you know? And I'm really proud of that. Like, I really appreciate all the subscribers and shit I'm getting. Like, that shit really raw. Like, that shit really raw to me, you know what I'm saying? Like... Y'all boys really out here josting with me. And of course, you're not from Louisiana. So what josting mean is this, bro. Josting mean I'm just vibing with you, you know what I'm saying? Just, just use your context clues, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if I'm saying I'm josting with you going forward, just know I'm just saying I'm vibing with you, feel me? So, like, you know, in BR, we'd be like, you know, I'm about to jost with Shorty. I'm about to just jost the situation. Woo -woo -woo. So, obviously, we just saying vibe with the situation, see how shit is, fill it out. So, that's what jost means. So, look, your boy about to run these five miles after this. I'm about to hit the gym, box. I, I ain't probably ain't gonna really lift weights for real, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably ain't gonna lift no weights. I might, you know what I'm saying? Might do little curls, cause that's like the weak points I've been working on. So, yeah, and biceps are getting bigger. So, I might do a little curls, but for the most part, I'm just really about the box and just really just, you know what I'm saying? Just take care of the body, take care of the soul, just think about the mind. And um, be looking out for more workout videos. I'm about to start getting more consistent with it, like at least three times a week, I'm about to start posting workout videos because you know, at the end of the day, I still want y'all boys to self-develop be the best version of yourself at the end of the day, bros. And the only way to be the best version of yourself, you gotta build your confidence up. The only way to build your confidence up is hitting your gym because when you become a true alpha male in the gym, bro, the world is yours, the sky's the limit, you know what I'm saying? Most people are scared to put in the work, you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm gonna start making more workout videos, more tutorial videos to show you like, you know, how to truly grow your arms, how to truly get big triceps, how to grow your chest, different chest flies, variations. Like, I want y'all boys to be the best version of yourself, man. Like this life shit, if you can understand it and get out the blue pill matrix and really understand it through the red pill, like take the blue pill lens off your eyes and really see if it what it really is, bro. This life shit is really, bro, it's really easy, bro. But you gotta reconstruct your mind, bro. You gotta find your true purpose and find your true ambition, bro. And so that's why I be always preaching self-development because if you could do that, bro, Bro, the sky's the limit, man. You could really be financially free. You could be really free and live the life that you truly want to live, bro, in like two years. But I mean, obviously, the shit ain't easy. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take grinding. It's going to take entrepreneurship. It's going to take reading books. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, all that shit worth it when you truly free traveling the world, doing what you truly love. Because, you know, I can't wait for that for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could put myself in a position to where I can travel the world. You know what I'm saying? I can have online clients. I could start my clothing brand. I could brand myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait for stuff like that. I can't wait to put myself in positions like that, man. Like, just really sit there and think about that, man. That's the life to live, bros. Like, and I just can't wait for that, you know? That's just, that's just how I'm feeling, you know? And I really, you know, I really hope all these videos I'm making for y'all, that shit's starting to digest with y'all, you feel me? Like, that's really what all this shit really about. That's what Red Pill is truly about. You know what I'm saying? The women and all that shit, that shit cool. That shit cool, don't get me wrong. The women, that shit cool. But, bro, that's not that hard getting women, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start making more Red Pill topics dealing with women, you know, in the future. Not in the future. I'm about to start making more Red Pill topics dealing with women, like, at least twice a week. I'm gonna break the game down really, really easy to where like anybody could get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna break it down for the foundation level. But don't really overthink the women part, bro. I want y'all boys to really focus on building your confidence up and start building your brand. If you can start doing that, bros, hey man, the world is yours. The sky's the fucking limit, bro. The sky's the fucking limit. There ain't nothing you can't do in this world, you know what I mean? Like, this life shit, it, it's hard if you're in the blue pill matrix. It's hard if you're stuck in the matrix. But once you see life for what it really is, and you can start redirecting your life and like putting and start, well, you can start redirecting your life and start chasing your dreams and purpose and ambition, bros. And it don't really matter what age it is 20, 30, 40, 50, you know what I'm saying? As long as you understand the concept, now I promise you, it might take three years of your life. I know you're saying like that's kind of long, woo, wah, woo, wah, woo. Listen, 
three years of your life really not that long out the whole grand scheme of life bro just let that sink in like life is long bro if you living to be 70 years old which is that's the norm in america three years of your life bro just fucking lock in you feel me don't be a lazy bum man just figure out what works for you if you fail pick yourself up try something else keep going never give up because once you give up that's when shit over with you know what i'm saying so that's my take on this whole shit this is just a little food for thought video this is just me rambling i'm just talking with you if you made it with me all the way to the end of this video i love the support i really appreciate you rocking with me like this for real man shit do this for me in the comment section you know put in the comment section below where you from where you vibing with me from you know what i'm saying where you josting with me from you heard me and just be like you know i'm josting with you from blah 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 you know what i'm saying so let's say you from cali i don't know why i'm thinking about cali fuck cali let's say you josting with me from seattle washington you feel me just be like you know put in the comment section i'm josting with you from seattle washington you heard me do that for me if you vibe with me all the way to the end bro this is like a little food for thought video like, I just really thought it was crazy how he really broke down. Like, it can never be enough, you know what I'm saying? You always gonna have somebody doing better than you. So it's so important for you to find your true happiness, find your true dreams, find your true ambition, find your true purpose in life, bro. That's what really all this shit is about, man. You know what I'm saying? Materialistic things shouldn't bring you happiness into this world. Your happiness gotta come from within. If you can find your true happiness from within, bro, and turn your true happiness into your purpose, that's how you live a carefree life. That's how you live a life of your dreams, and that's how you be cool, calm, and collect. That's how you be smooth, suave, a player, a true alpha male, bro. You gonna have that motherfucking sauce that the world can't even stop you. The world don't owe you shit, bro. You be cool, bro, on some real shit. So with that being said, man, if you really rock for this video, share this video with your friends, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel.